Hello guys, welcome back with another video and today we have our next part of what if Naruto had sent bomb Sucker part 4. I'm guessing. And of course before we start don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And shall we get on to the video? Like in canon, Naruto's training basically remains the same for his going to Ebisu and Jiraiya but who really cares about Ebisu? <laughs> He's not even worth the image. <laughs> Although Naruto does also train with Senban Zagra, I really am going to have to rewrite this one someday and do better. <laughs> and probably make better with the Zanpato spirit of Senban Zagra. Maybe I will rewrite it. Oh well, continue on. Into the Chino Gems do arise, and after some randomization, here are matchups. First, we have here Naruto versus Zaku. The fight Naruto is basically at complete control in this battle as Zaku wouldn't be able to break through Senban Zakura's blades in advance. Sorry. And Naruto was sent attack after attack after Zaku eventually emerged in all directions which Zaku wouldn't be able to block or get out of the way of and he would be hit with something like this. <laughs> Which would leave Zaku on the ground knocked out. Knocked out. Continuing on. Next we have King Gook versus Conqueror. Conqueror. Sorry. Conqueror. Uh, surprisingly, Ken would win here as Conqueror has shown no immunity to any Genjutsu Ken would have. And so, um, well. Genjutsu is able to throw Conqueror off and she is able to, well, knock him out. Or may hold a kunai to his neck. Either way, Ken he takes the match here. Kurosasuke still makes his big interest in anyways onto the fight. As during this battle, Tamari would prove to be an extreme challenge for Sasuke. As anything he throws at her, <laughs> Tamari would just blow it away with a giant fan. Did they even give that weapon a name? I wonder who constructed that. <laughs> And that's the person who construct that fan, just construct one for Tamari Eritashi. Uh, never mind. There has to be someone who Konoha who also does it, because we see her have one, and never mind. One of 10 10 made her. Okay, back on topic. <laughs> topic. And eventually, Sasuke comes up with a plan, and Sasuke will launch another fireball at Tamari, as Tamari will get ready to blow it away, but will be caught off guard by uh, the fireball scattering and some even hitting her, while others cause a smoke screen, which will give Sasuke enough time. After Tamari blows the smoke screen away, to give Sasuke enough time to um, grab a kunai and have it to the back of her throat, the back in her back. Which would make her give up. Well. Continue on. Sorry, the back of her neck, not throat. For finals, we have a uh, Sasuke. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, for our finals, we have Rock Lee versus Gar. Gar, uh, gee, what's up with my pronunciations today? Well, it'll be like they're fighting preliminaries, except this time on um, Rock Lee's leg isn't crushed, and he's actually able to knock out Gar in time, and is able to pull out the win in this one, albeit um very, very damaged thanks to the eight gates. Um, well, there's a few changes. One, Rock Lee just doesn't have that whole um, can't exactly just stand on top of something and drop his weights. That's about it, I think. Like I said before, the evasion does still start after Gar is knocked out, and knocked out, and Sasuke still chases after Gar and Conqueror Tamari. On his way, he would encounter a um, very damaged Zaku and Ken. Although he, <laughs> he the Zaku would really stand no chance here, so he'll easily be taken out. And <laughs> Sasuke using his shotgun gun would be able to see past against against Ken's, Ken's Genjutsu and would be able to also take her out. Of course, this will waste a little time which would allow um, well not waste, take extra time which will allow Naruto, Sakura, and um, Kakashi's Hound to catch up. 
Just leave both Naruto and Sasuke left to take on Tamaru when she tries to stall the two. And Sakura and Dog try. <laughs> Continuing on. The two together are easily able to take on Tamari as she can't keep warding both of them off and she is eventually dealt with. Not really much to go into a fight to talk about here. <laughs> The changes when Garner wakes up in the oh, when Gar wakes up in this timeline, Conqueror gets bitch slapped. Is <laughs> that up, Tamari? Yeah, I'm continuing on. Eventually, Sasuke and um, Naruto face Gara, much more weakened Gar, seeing as um, what Rock Lee did to him, as the bad battle would really go south for Gar. And Gar here as his sand arm, but base will already be gone. And so he, I uh, think he would go full Shikaku from about the for about the midpoint of the fight, where any of his head they try and launch at Naruto and Sasuke try and launch as Shikaku would be impervious into Naruto. Still using the sub, still using some jutsu summoning Gamakichi, then Gamabuto, Gamabuto, and the fight does continue on as in canon. Well, Sasuke is also on the head, but um. He could do something that I can't come up with. Continue on. And like in canon, Naruto would still give, um, Garber to talk no jitsu, and the rest of arc pretty much just goes the same. Except for, um, well, a few changes, Sakura isn't captured, and Gawa Sand thing is there to watch the battle unfold. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this part, and um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe again, and see you next time.